Hello everyone. Welcome to Black Bison Academy. Here we are providing you the lectures for the Chhattisgarh Public Service Commission and primarily we are focusing on those students who are from the English medium background. Okay? So those students who are from the English medium background, we are providing quality lectures and comprehensive coverage of the complete course to you. But at the same time, if some of us want to read all these lectures in the Hindi format, if there is a little English, there are also lectures available in Hindi. But content will be in English, I will just explain in Hindi. Okay? So in Hindi, you will get an explanation. So we will say in the same way, English. Okay? So that's all. English as well as English. Both things will happen here. So, we are preparing for the Chhattisgarh Public Service Commission and with me, you are going to deal with the Geography of India module. This particular module would be enough for your prelims as well as the main part. Okay? So, before moving to the question, let us just quickly see what is the syllabus of this particular module. Okay? So, Geography of India, it comes under paper number 5, which is the GS paper number 3. And we have the geography, geography of India. This is the whole syllabus. Today, we are focusing on the agriculture. Agriculture and in agriculture too, today we are studying the oil seed, right? So, when I, if I ask you, which is the most important oil seed in India? So, many of you might be knowing and even if you don't know, let me tell you, it is the groundnut. So, this question, it is, for those of you who don't know that groundnut is the most important crop, most important oil seed crop in India. So this question has been framed for the groundnut only. So discuss the important geographical factors responsible for the cultivation of the groundnut in India. Now, whenever our questions comes to us, we need to see three things. Obviously, what are first of all the keyword? It is asking us to discuss. Okay, what else we have to do? We have to talk about the geographical factors which is responsible for the cultivation of groundnuts. That means in this particular question, we have to mention the important geographical factors for the production of groundnut in India or for the cultivation of the groundnut in India. This question, it is for the 4 marks and 60 marks. Now, how we will deal with this question? Okay, so if primarily we will see the word limit, fine. See here, we have 60 words. So what we will do, we will divide our question into two parts. That means 30 words each, the two paragraphs for 30 words each. And when I say geographical factors or geographical condition, what do I mean by this? So geographical factors, they are, you can primarily categorize them into two parts. The geographical factors which are associated with the ecology. That means the ecological factors. When I say the ecological factors, that means we have to talk about climate. We have to talk about the rainfall requirement of this particular crop. We have to talk about the temperature requirement of this particular crop. Apart from this, we also need to talk about the soil condition, which is important for the cultivation of groundnut in India. Okay. And the other part, the second paragraph, you can write here the non-ecological factor. So what are non-ecological factors? These are basically the human factor. Okay. Let me just write it properly. Non-ecological factors. So these are basically the human factor. In geography, what do we mean by the human factor? The factors which are associated with the administration, like the minimum support price like the irrigation facility, if the government is providing or not, the fertilization policy of India, if that particular policy is supporting the cultivation of groundnut or not. Apart from this, we can also write here the, eco or the economic condition of the farmer. For example, if the farmer is poor, will he be able to purchase the quality seeds? At the same time, we'll talk about the technological factors. So in human factors, we'll talk about the technology, we'll talk about the administrative factor, and we'll also talk about, let's say, uh, financial condition or the economic factor of the farmer. Okay, so that's how we can divide our question into two parts of 
30 words each. The, in the part 1, we will talk about the ecological factors. In the part 2, we will talk about the non-ecological factors. Fine. So, let us now see what are actually the requirements for the cultivation of groundnut in India. So, groundnut, it is the most important. In fact, it is a kind of, in fact, India is the second largest grower of the groundnut. We contribute nearly 17% of the world production. Fine. So, groundnut, it comes under the oil seed. We have nine major oil seeds in India. And in those nine major oil seeds, groundnut, it is the number one. That means it is the most important oil seed in India. Fine. So, let us just frame the answer. Okay. Here you can see, I have talked about the geographical factors or as I told you, the ecological factors which comprises climatic, soil condition. These are the major ecological factors that affect the groundnut production in India. Let us see what are the ecological factors. So, firstly, we will talk about the climatic factor because whenever we are trying to cultivate a particular crop, the most important determinant of the production or the cultivation is the climate. Because if the climate doesn't permit the cultivation of this particular crop, we are unable to cultivate the crop in the given region, right? So, groundnut, it is a kind of crop which is considered as the crop of a dry region. That means the rainfall requirement or the irrigation requirement is not as high as rice but not as low as Jawar or Bajra. That means it comes somewhere in the middle. So the rainfall requirement of this particular crop is nearly 50 to 75 centimeters. Also, we have to remember that 100 centimeters of the ISO height is the upper limit of the groundnut production. That means if the rainfall exceeds 100 centimeters, we are unable to produce groundnut there because it re it doesn't require the soggy soil, that kind of soil which has too much uh, rainfall or the area, the region in which the rainfall is large. The, the amount of rainfall is large, sorry. Okay. So next, we'll talk about the temperature. So it is a kind of crop, it, requ it requires 20 to 30 degrees Celsius is the temperature. 20 degrees Celsius in the initial period and as it grows, the temperature should increase with the time for the better harvesting or the better uh, better quality seeds or better uh, sorry quality production of the groundnut so it is 20 to 30 degree celsius apart from these climatic factor we have the soil condition so what kind of soil is preferred as i told you that 100 centimeter iso height is the upper limit that means the soil should be well drained the water should not log there okay so we require the well drained soil fine apart from this what kind of soil we need so, any soil like loams, red, red soil, yellow soil, black soil. So, it is a kind of crop very diverse. It can adapt to the different soil conditions. Fine. Now, coming to the next. As I told you, you can divide your answer into two parts, ecological and non-ecological factor. Till yet, we have discussed the, discussed the ecological factor. Right? Ecological factors. Thereafter, we will discuss the non-ecological factors. When I say non-ecological, that means climate, soil would not come here. Here, we will talk about the human factor, right? Because under the geographical condition that the question was asking about geographical factor, it has those two components, ecological as well as non-ecological. Under ecological, as I discussed with you, and under non-ecological, we will talk about the economic factor. As I said, financial status of the farmer, let's say, is the groundnut cultivation requires certain amount of credit because the farmers are comes actually cultivating this particular crop in the dry region of the country and in those dry regions usually the irrigation facility is not available then at least we need to provide the fertilizers right the fertilizers the kind of pesticides which is required for the cultivation if the farmer is not rich enough he or she would not be able to provide that kind of input to the crop right then Therefore, it is also the financial status of the farmer which affect the cultivation of groundnut in India. And if the farmer is rich, so would he prefer to grow such kind of crop which has low yield? Because the yield of groundnut in India is considerably low as compared to the world. So he or she would not like this as the major crop. They would shift to the other cash crop like sugarcane, like tobacco, like cotton. So, financial status of the farmer also affects the production of the groundnut in India. 
fine. Apart from this, the technological innovation or the technological factors, for example, whether we have the high yielding variety or oil seeds, and when I say oil seed, I'm talking about the groundnut. So whether we have the HYV seeds or not, do we have the hybrid variety or not? Because if you know a little bit about the oil seed sector, you must be knowing that seed technology is not that much developed. In fact, the seed replacement rate is very low and it is one of the major concerns when it comes to the oil seed sector. So the requirement of the seed should also be there. The government policy should be such that, that they support such kind of seeds. And then cultivation would be uh, will be done by the more farmers or the production would increase apart from these two factors what else comes under the human factor or the non ecological factor it is the as i mentioned other human factors we will talk about the minimum support price yeah because it this particular thing affects the production of the most of the crops if the minimum support price of the groundnut is such that that government of india is supporting the groundnut farmers or they are they or they actually increase the MSP for this particular crop, more and more farmer would move towards this particular crop. So what would happen? The production would suddenly increase. So hence, it also affects the production of the groundnut in India. Apart from this, as I told you earlier, irrigation facility is also one of the important features of the oil seeds in India because most of the oil seeds nearly, as I told you earlier also, nearly 70% of the oil seed production is it actually comes from the dry region of India. And when I say dry, that means neither the rainfall nor the irrigation facility is available. Okay. And in the previous uh, PPT also, I or in the previous slide, actually, I told you about the preference of to the other, other crops because the rich farmers, they often like to shift to the other crops like other cash crops, as I told you earlier, sugar cane, the cotton. They would rather cultivate those crops than the groundnut because here the yield is not such that. So these are the common factors which actually affect the groundnut production in India. So as you can see, this particular question can be easily tackled since it is for the 60 words. So we have enough fodder material to write this particular question. So we'll divide the answer into two parts as I told you earlier. Apart from this, those of you who still aren't able to make or to able, or you are not able to understand this particular lecture, let me tell you, in the ground nut, we need to know a little more, okay? So we, I have also made some other lectures, but on the same series. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you are enjoying these sessions. Thank you.